What's up, Mortgage Coach community? Dave Savage coming to you live from uh, Healdsburg, the wine country in Northern California. And I am sitting down interviewing Shantry Abbott. What's up, Shantry? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, brother. So thank you for making time to share your story and share some of the strategies. The, the headline for this, just from the conversations we've had, it's, it's what are you doing to be a coach and a leader to real estate agents right now in today's inventory crisis market? And I, I guess I'm just, first of all, curious, how, how big is the low inventory in St. George, Utah right now? Yeah, we have about 300 homes available for sale, and we probably need to have about 2,200 to be at a normal market. Wow. So, so it's, it's it's tough. Yeah, and you're right down there close to the Arizona border, right? I mean, you're, you're Arizona, Nevada market. border. So we've got a lot of California, Oregon, Washington move-ins. Right. And just so folks know a little bit about your mortgage practice, uh, how many families did you help last year and what's which was your volume last year? Yeah, so our team helped 375 families for 99 million. Boom. I mean, that's a, a lot of volume for a market as small as yours. Are you the market leader in uh, St. George? Probably. I don't pay too much attention to that, but I think we're right up there. We have some pretty good competitors too. We're like anyone, but yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, congratulations. You're, you're killing it. I especially love what you're doing with Mortgage Coach. The guys, the most important metric of all is he is a Mortgage Coach Grandmaster. He's done over 1,300 TCAs and uh, you and your team, it looks like you've done over 60 in the last 30 days. So it looks like cool. you're, you're, you're being a mortgage coach with every family. Is that fair to, fair to say? Yeah, we don't do a loan without him getting at least one mortgage coach. At least one. What some would, cases what would, too. What would be some scenarios where they would get to? Yeah, so I try to do one at pre-approval to send them just different cash to close rate payment options so they get kind of an idea of how that works. What I'm wanting to do is show them that I'm doing the rate shopping for them before they go do the rate shopping on a billboard at Quicken or wherever. And then if they go under contract, we're creating a custom one based on lock options. So that, that scenario, the purchase client would get to. And then we're doing one on a refinance and if the appraisal comes in different or the client wants to move things around, we'll do a, a, a option, a refi one at the end of the, at the end of the refinance, if anything changes too. And that's happening quite a bit. Yeah, no, I, I would imagine. Well, let's, let's just get right into being a leader, being a coach to an agent. And I guess I first start with, what does that mean to you? You know, when, when someone says, Hey, I want to coach and lead real estate agents, how, how are you doing that? And what does that mean to you? Yeah. So, I mean, I think this is the best opportunity. I've done mortgages. This is my 15th year. And this is the best opportunity I ever think we've had to, they need us more now than ever. We need to help them get their buyer's offer accepted. We need to bring creative solutions to them because, and they're our friends. They are, they've buttered our bread all these years and they are just having a dog fight with every single buyer. And I, almost all markets in the country, I think are the same. You got a finance buyer, you're competing with cash and cash that's willing to go really high. What can we do as a mortgage lender to help increase the likelihood of that offer getting accepted? And they need us. You know, the online lenders and stuff, they might can get a loan done, but they can't do what we can do as local lenders. They can't call the selling agent. They can't be in those conversations like we as local lenders can be. So I think even a new loan officer, there's an incredible opportunity if you have some good support that you can go pick up agents that wouldn't have normally used you. Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. And there's a lot of loan officers that really define their job as I have great rates, I close loan on time and, and haven't accelerated with how they're helping families get their offers accepted, right. how they're, they're training and coaching agents. So what are, what are some of your strategies to coach and train agents? Yeah. So we're using a lot of mortgage coach tools actually. And just after the, just after we obviously uh, did the, the agent summit and I love the agent advantage playlist nice. and Thank you. we're, we're going to go through those one at a time. We're going to send that out to our real estate partners then we're going to be following up with phone calls on these strategies that we're doing. Um, in our market, we're trying immediately as we pre-approve a buyer, we're letting them know, listen, it is tough out there. You are lucky to have XYZ Realtor on your team. We're on your team too. The biggest thing we can do for you guys is help you get your offer accepted. 
Okay, we can do loans, we close on time, we have great rates, et cetera. We're gonna help you get your offer accepted. Here's what it needs to look like to get your offer accepted. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna be one of 10 offers. Several of those offers are gonna be cash. Why would a seller pick your offer over a cash buyer? And then we kind of tell them the reasons that a seller would pick a cash buyer. So we're trying to get them to sit in the seller's seat, right? So then what the offers that are getting accepted in our market typically have an immediate earnest money that is non-refundable. So they can't lean on the financing and appraisal deadline, okay? What has to happen for a buyer to feel comfortable in doing that is they have to be really comfortable that they qualify for the mortgage. So we're lucky at Guild. Guild will allow us to underwrite that borrower. So we can underwrite them in advance. That allows us to close a little quicker. It allows us to, to tell the client, we've taken you to the next step unless you take on new debt or, or quit your job, you're getting this loan. The third component is, will the house appraise? A lot of them are not appraising, right? And so we're then, as they're making offers, we're wanting to be a partner with the real estate agent. And we're wanting to say, so we're going in at 600,000. What do we think this home may appraise for? Let's say it's 570. We're then needing to have that conversation with the client and show them the numbers of if it appraises for 570, here's what that means to you. Are you okay with that? So they need to have confidence in the appraisal options. They need to have confidence in their loan qualifications. And then at that point, they probably need to decide, are they comfortable doing a non-refundable earnest money? Because if they don't, they probably aren't going to get an offer accepted. Got it. So you're, you're just educating the buyer. You're providing clarity. Uh, you mentioned you dug the agent advantage playlist. Were there any particular videos in that playlist? Because I think there's nine videos currently. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm looking for more loan officers and realtors to add to that playlist. So if you and your okay. team want to create something, just know that we want to, we want to expand that list and have more okay. ambassadors. Yeah. Any particular favorites? I really dug Amber Kovarik's about the move up buyer because uh, just that simple question that she's asking to every refinance, does this home currently meet your needs? We were doing it in a way, but she said it so much better than we were saying it. And so it allows us, you know, us as loan officers, there's nothing better than taking a pre-approved buyer and referring them back to your real estate agent. That's, right. that's better than a deal. That's, cool. that, that, that's gold. Yeah. And that opportunity is out there. They have all this equity and rates are still low. And it's, it's, there's just an opportunity to be move up buyers. That's what we need. That's what our real estate agents need. Have you uh, actually given, you know, used that strategy, done the move up? and actually referred anybody to an agent in the last two weeks to a month? This week. Nice, nice. Yeah. So you're, you're implementing that? Anybody watching this will put a link down below to Amber's move up uh, analysis presentation from the Agent Advantage. It was from the Modern Mortgage, or excuse me, Modern Real Estate Summit. Um, curious, uh, did you watch much of the content from the Modern Real Estate Summit? Yeah, I probably watched about 60%, 70%, and I intend to watch all of it. What about any agents? Did you uh, buy any tickets for agents or, you know, get involved in any leadership there? Absolutely. Yep. So we bought a hundred tickets and we text called and, and uh, emailed and we had an open house at our office for anyone nice. wanted to come. We had a few agents pop in and we tried watching it as much as we could. So we got our whole, we have a small branch of five or six loan officer teams and we all kind of got involved. And I, I think there's even more value now if we won't let that die off, that we still have a few tickets available that we can go give them some of those recordings. And then again, we're wanting to take our favorites and take this to our agents. I've actually got a uh, lunch and learn tomorrow that we're doing and we're taking some of the things from it to them. Nice. The small yeah. office. Well, I mean, we all, we all know the fortune is in the follow-up. That's where all the money is made. And while the event was great and it was live, I mean, it was a, it was the ultimate fire hose. Well, yeah, a, a lot of people watch the whole thing. A whole lot more people are just going to pick the speaker and the topic and watch it. So I think that's super smart that you're still giving out your passes. And uh, I think they're available through May 1st. And then there will be a one-year pass. I know Todd Bookspan, the Win by Noon team, is going to 
they're kind of editing it, getting it together, and then they're going to have a one year pass to it. So awesome. Yeah. We'd cool. love to do that just to have, I mean, it's your whole year of training content to your agents. That's the vision. I mean, the vision is you want to be a leader and coach. First and foremost, you need to be a mortgage coach so that you can bring creative strategies to families and create confidence and clarity. But you also need to bring them content. Any particular presentations that were favorites or that you're going to cover in that um, lunch and learn tomorrow? Yeah. Um, trying to think off the top of my head, there was, I think it was, was, was it Cody Gibson? He was incredible. I wish I had that note in front of me. I remember really liking that one. Yeah. that was All a- of the loan officers. I mean, and I am a loan officer, right? So maybe it's just me, but they drove that, that all of them were great. I mean, that entire agent advantage playlist has strategies you could use for the next three months to take to your agents. Every yeah, person no, I, did awesome. I, I agree. And anyone listen to this, each one of those loan officers, they were a mortgage coach ambassador. They did not talk about what company they were for. They're just like, I'm a mortgage coach. And, and I would push everybody on this. You, you should use those. And then of course you should create your own, you know, take sure. and Amber and plagiarize it and make your own move up uh, report for, or your own move up um, video for realtors. Well, well, let's get into a couple mortgage coach strategies. Uh, what are you doing most right now with agents how are you using mortgage coach most often? So we can get a couple ideas and a couple strategies. Yeah. So I've always done this. I like to show clients a couple different rate options at pre-approval and then maybe a price range or two kind of going up to their max. What would that payment and cash to close look like? I share the TCA. I include the agent. Here's the pre-approval letter. Here's roughly what the mortgage options would look like, which is a TCA. I include the agent on that. So the agent has that has all that information. I say in there how great the agent is. You know, I just want to try to make that feel like we're a total team to the client. I want the client to know the agent's included. I want the agent to watch my video. Then we're doing a lot of the, they've made an offer or they're about to make an offer and we're concerned it may not appraise. Are we going to be okay going forward if it doesn't? Because we need to address that because if you make an offer way over what the listing agent knows it's probably going to appraise for and you don't address that right away they're not even going to consider your offer even if even if you were the highest in price so you need to address it right at the beginning can they do they have the ability to move forward and so we're doing an appraisal gap tca at that point love that and then and then the next the third one that we're doing a lot of right now is there's still a lot of refinances out there to be honest there's so much equity and we're again passionate about the move up buyer and helping our agents so we're trying to do a lot of the move up analysis too well well let's let's do this i want to get a couple of strategies so if you don't mind sharing your screen i think first i want to make sure we show how a red belt grandmaster mortgage coach who's doing over 300 loans a year and helping families how are they presenting that to the consumer and and then you said you're CCing realtors on that. I want to I want to hear a yeah. little more about that. So you mind sharing your screen and showing us one? Yeah. While I'm sharing this too, this has become, I've only been a mortgage coach user just, I mean, a year and a few months probably. And what's been really fun for me is that this, is, did I see the right screen? No. Um, I see. Is, a CCA. This looks like medium rate, low rate. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. But what I was going to say is that this is duplicatable. I can teach members on my team or other loan officers in my branch to do this exact same thing, right? It doesn't have to be you're talented, you're this. It's just do it, do this, use the mortgage coach. So here's how we, I like to do the shopping for my client because there's always the question, what's your rate? Could I get a better rate somewhere else? I have the basic conversation with them of how rates work. The cool thing is they get to pick their interest rate. And I say, why don't I just go ahead and show you what we're going to do different than the bank or credit union that you may be thinking about using. We're going to use a total cost analysis to help you pick which program is going to be the best based on the rate and the cash to close that make the most sense to you immediately. Medium term, five years, long term, 15 years. I almost always just do this exact same thing and I have the team doing the same thing. So I probably created the first thousand of those TCAs and now I've got another, uh, I guess you would call it a junior loan officer on our team that's starting to create a lot of these too. And we use the same, the same template. I was going to say, are you using a strategy template? Like, do you have a, okay, great. That makes lots of Has these labeled out. We always just go a medium rate, which is a rate somewhere in the range of par closest to 
a low rate spending somewhere around a point and a half to two points to buy the rate down and then a low cost wherever it makes sense to get them maybe a little bit of a credit and we're not we're telling them we're not making a decision here we're just wanting to show you how this works how rates can change how you may see a really low rate offered but just understand that means there's really high costs offered too you get to make that choice we're going to help you make the right choice and then, so we, this client in particular, they wanted to be in the 500,000 price range, but they could qualify up to 550. So then in the fourth, the fourth column, I just did a, a 550 because I want to show them that ceiling and what that would mean. I like the agent to see this too, because as they're out home shopping, it, the agent and them know if we go up 50 grand in price, we're increasing their payment about 211 bucks. Uh, could you scroll down to the bottom right hand corner? I want to see if you are putting an appreciation rate. Uh, scroll scroll down so I can see the bottom right hand corner. I think I'm down all the way. Oh, I'm just seeing the over 60 months. I'm not seeing uh, the long term difference. Yeah, there yeah. There we go. So one different. one thing for you to consider and anyone watching this. Uh, he's showing just the savings over time, the, the interest cost over 15 years. Do you ever um, put in the actual appreciation rate and then change that bottom right to where it would show net worth over time? Have you? I haven't. So I, I do recommend when you're doing uh, purchase price options, you, you show that because there's a couple of reasons. First of all, it's in the client's best interest to say, hey, my payment's this much more, but what would be my net worth? It in five years, in 10 years. So if you if you did that, they can kind of see, hey, this is what my monthly cost is, and this is what the long-term impact is. So I that's that's good advice for the consumer. And then the other thing, you're, it further puts your, your, your competition in the dust. Yeah. You know, your competition is just showing monthly payment, cash to close. They're not showing, hey, what's the, what's the long-term uh, net worth impact? So well, this, wait, can you plug that into a strategy template or is that something you just have to adjust every time? Yeah, I don't want to do it here on the screen because you'd have to show some customer names. I could show it. Uh, but after we get, I, I know how to do it. Just if I, if I save it to the strategy template, that'll do that every time then automatically. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. And, and you can say, Hey, some customers I want to show the, the interest cost over 15 years and some customers I want to show the, um, that and it could either be two different strategy templates or before you send it to a consumer, you could just edit that little place in the analyze screen. Awesome. I love it. Okay, cool. I'm going to do it. Um, and when you, when you show this to a family um, and who's looking to shop and they're purchasing and they're doing a TBD, what do you call this? Do you call it a total cost analysis or do you have a, another name that you refer to it as? I, I do call it a total cost analysis. Yep. All right. And then make note, guys, you want to be a coach and advisor to realtors. First of all, you're, you're doing lunch and learns. You're leveraging the Modern Real Estate Summit to train them. And then, of course, you're CCing them. You're letting them know that, hey, I'm not just providing a fee worksheet and a transaction. I'm, I'm helping your consumers make informed decisions that are both short-term and long-term relevant. So, And I think one more key there, because I really don't. I know some of them spend a lot of time going over this live with the clients. I, I really typically never do. I'm doing a four to five minute video. I'm telling them I'm going to send them a four to five minute video. I want them to watch it. I want them to call me back if they have questions. If not, simply email me what we want to do and then we'll move forward. I'm not getting a whole lot of calls back, actually. There are some, but a lot of them are just running with it, you know, when we're locking the rate. But what you're at the pre approval, what I think is really valuable is that we're able to pat the agent on the back a little bit because these are, I do love the agent that sent me the client. I do know that that agent does a good job. And I want the agent and the client to know that we're saying those things, that we're trying to wrap the client in a warm cocoon. So I always make sure in the TCA that I'm telling them you're in great hands with your agent. We've done a lot of deals together. They'll take great care of you. They'll help you navigate this kind of stuff. And I think the agents really appreciate knowing that. No, I, I know they do. So Chantry, I don't know if you'd be willing to do this, but this looks like a generic TCA. If after we do this call, if you wouldn't mind adding a five minute, video, you know, whatever, whatever the typical video you would put. So people can kind of hear what you say, how you edify the agent, how you would have walked through this with a consumer. Would you mind um, doing that to this particular sample TCA? You bet. 
Absolutely. And guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be a link in show notes so you can check out the TCA and not only see this, um, you know, example, which notice he's, he's using the word strategy, average loan officers, quote rates, they sell mortgage programs, mortgage coaches, give options, present strategies. And then he's also going to give you a video that you can check out. So is there anything else you want to show on this? Or do you mind if we take a quick look at one of your uh, move up TCS? Nope. I think we covered it. Let's grab the next one here. Cool. All right, move up buyer. Okay. So this, this initially started and what we've implemented, and if anybody wants to see this, we'd be happy to share too, is that we've got some uh, client concierge in our office that are calling some of our refinance leads. We're mining some refinance leads and they're filling out a worksheet we've created just trying to get the client's goals. Do you have any interest in refinancing? If so, do you have any need for cash out? What do you think the home's worth? Do you simply, would you simply want to lower the payment? Do you have any desires to pay your home off? How long do you plan on being in the home? And then the last question is, hey, that was all about the refinance. What we didn't ask is, does this home actually meet your immediate or maybe next two to three year needs or do you guys have a big desire for something else if you have a big desire for something else what would that be what would that be and how much would it cost roughly then we're going in and showing them so the very first column here is obviously just their current mortgage uh this they're in a decent loan, right, with where rates are now. So I just showed them what I would call a low rate strategy. So I'd let them know it. The only reason it makes sense to refinance right now, if you wanted to spend some of your equity to buy this rate down a little bit, here's what that would look like, saving you $311 a month. But it looks like maybe we're in a three bedroom home and that really doesn't meet our need. And now we really would like to be in a home with four bedrooms. And based on what you're saying, that's going to cost you guys $600,000. In this one, we're assuming that this client has the ability to buy a new home with a minimum 5% down without having their other previous home sold yet. So then column two is I'm showing them a 5% on a 600,000 purchase. And then, uh, and a lot of lenders have this at Guild, we have a recast. So then what we're saying is after you sell your home, net 100,000 or so of your equity, you could pay the loan back down uh, with that $100,000 here in column four and we'll adjust your payment. So your long-term payment would end up being 2,465. So we've really increased your payment in this scenario, $608 a month compared to what you're paying now. Does it make sense for you guys to maybe think in that direction and connect with your real estate agent or does it, or based on those numbers, does it make more sense for you guys to continue on and get this refinance done? Real quick, can you go in the bottom right hand corner? I want to see if you did the net worth. Um, I, I never have done the net worth, so that's something I'm going to start doing. Do you, Do you know how to do that? And I do. Well, why don't you stop sharing your screen so we don't show any client confidential information? And I want you to go. Um, I'm going to debrief on a few things. And I want you to go change that. Or actually, if you have two monitors, you can just pull up, go to the advice engine, and change that to net worth. But I, I want people to see it because, guys, this is where you just leave your competition in the dust. I mean, check this out. He's getting the best content in the mortgage space or in the real estate space from the modern real estate summit put on by Win by Noon. He's sharing that with customers. He bought tickets. He's giving that to them. Make sure you're giving that to both prospects and partners. Don't just give it to partners. Uh, you know, he's so he's he's an educator. He's a coach. He's a leader. When he gets a lead, he's doing a total cost analysis. He's giving options. He's showing strategies to help sell homes. He's looping in the realtor. He's putting a video on it. So he's he's modern. He's a conversion partner. Uh, he's literally doing everything right. And then he's got a client concierge. So he's got a team, a concierge that's doing mortgage reviews. They're going out and providing advice and service to families saying, hey, you could move up. And then he's bringing those leads back to his agents. I mean, this is... I mean, I think you know it and you've worked hard, Chantry, to be, but you, you're like the modern mortgage professional. You are doing exactly what, what everybody needs. You know, you're leveraging technology so you can deliver better service. 
Yeah, thank you. And honestly, we're just doing what we've learned through the community and the people you've interviewed. I haven't made any of this up. You know, I'm just, I'm just trying to be a student every day. Well, you're doing a good job. Are you uh, using Homebot? We, we are. Yeah, I probably haven't done a good enough job of actively prospecting it and working it like we should, but absolutely every client's in Homebot. Yeah, remember if you're watching this and you have Homebot, turn on the mortgage coach integration. If you don't know what Homebot is, check it out. It's You can either go to our website and our partner page and get there, or you just go to homebot.com. It's super slick. Um, have you been able to update that and change it to net worth yet? Yes. So let's go back to that report, guys. So and, and guys, that's something you could have done within seconds while you're on the phone with the client or in the video, But but now look at this. He's going to the consumer and he's saying, hey, you can stay in your current home and um, save 311 and your net worth is going to be in 15 years, 460,000. Or you can move up, recast, payment goes up 600. And, and look at that. What is that? About $150,000 more in net worth uh, in 15 years. And, and again, you could change that. Like if the customer wanted to look at it for seven years, 10 years, um, make sure you're tailoring these numbers to the client's long-term goals. And, and, and Chantry, this is how I would recommend being the default for the move up to, to always, you know, whenever there's a difference in purchase price, home value, show the net worth. That's a, yeah. usually going to be more valuable to the consumer. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. That's a great idea. Okay, cool. Well, anything else you want to share with the mortgage coach community before we go into wrap up mode? I think that if you haven't, because are they still able, if somebody has not, are they still able, if they, let's say a loan officer didn't buy a ticket to it, are they still able to buy a ticket and get to the recordings? Yeah, yeah. You can go to modernrealestatesummit.com or modernresummit.com and you can still buy a ticket. And let's go ahead and stop sharing the screen if you don't mind real quick. And then, and then, like I said, in through, I think it's May, you have access to it. And then we're going to start, or Todd's going to start selling a one-year pass and you can have one-year access to it. So it's going to be available this entire year for anybody. Yeah. We all need to be, we all need to be helping our agents right now. They need us more now than ever. The best way to do it is bring them valuable information. You guys just provided enough information to last us the rest of the year. Also, every loan officer needs to be becoming a student of that agent advantage playlist and understanding, I think, what is there nine different uh, nine strategies. Growing. Hopefully I'm going to have 20 before you know it. And every loan point. officer needs to know how to do every one of those and they need to be implementing them. We're going to drip them one a week to our real estate community and, uh, via text, email, phone call. And sharing them if you're a leader and you have a team or you're a branch manager sharing them with the branch i mean that can run your sales meetings we we watched i told you we had a sales meeting tuesday morning we're gonna watch just one at a time make sure everybody all the other loan officers in the branch and on the team understand the strategy so we're coaching the team with it too so it sounds like you're not only doing this for your team but you're you're turning all your loan officers into black belt mortgage coaches and, and that brings up another point. You mentioned that you have, you just started using a mortgage coach, you know, a year, year and a half ago, and you're already a red belt. Like, why, why did you decide, like, I need to go from being fee worksheet loan officer to mortgage coach? What was your why? I think I needed to truthfully feel like I was giving somebody better mortgage advice. I needed to deep down in my heart, be able to tell them, I am giving you better mortgage advice than anyone else. And I'm helping you make smarter mortgage decisions. And here's how. Got it. So it was just a value. You wanted that value prop and, and a fee worksheet was not delivering on that for you. Yeah. How, how long did it take you to kind of master it yourself? Because it sounds like you took the approach and said, like, hey, team, let's do this. You're like, I'm going to do it. And I'm going yeah. like, to do it. How yeah. long did it take you to personally get good at it to where it was saving you time? Oh, I think after you do 20 or 30 of them, it's saving you time. It, the first 20 is probably an uphill fight and you might want to go back to your old way of doing things. That's what I did is that the old way I would show a client, I would, I would do it there and then I'd do a TCA and I'd make sure the numbers were right because I didn't want to send them anything wrong. But probably after 20 or so, I think you're dialed in and then you can, I mean, now it's big time saver for us. I used to meet with there. I was old school. I used to meet with every 
nearly every client that I could, I had a face-to-face -face meeting and I would, I would do some of the stuff the TCA could do by hand in front of them, trying to provide that value. But then luckily I just got totally lucky. You came to our company's summit. I got super excited about mortgage coach signed up right then. And then COVID hit all of a sudden we're not meeting anybody in person. So it was a really cool way for me to take that in-person meeting and turn it into video. I love it. And it sounds like how much time would you say you are saving on per loan? And, and would you say that your conversion rate is as good or better than ever? The conversion's better. I get tons of feedback that they absolutely love the video. I always make sure to send it to any decision makers on the loan. I don't care if you're on the mortgage or not. Is there anybody else that needs to be helping you make this decision? I love that part of it, right? Because it's hard to schedule an in-person meeting with husband, wife, and maybe the dad that's helping. But a video, all of a sudden, they're all getting it. Uh, it probably takes me 15 to 20 minutes to do what I was doing in an hour-long appointment in my office. Got it. So you've taken a lot of time out of your loan experience. You're, you're getting your face and your advice in a it's more robust in front of more people, which I would tell you guys, that was a major varsity tip he just gave you for, especially for new loan officers. You, let's say you met with the husband or the wife. If you didn't meet with both of them, you didn't connect, you didn't allow both of them. And then usually there is a third or fourth decision maker or influencer. And yeah. if you're not putting a TCA in front of them, you're not putting a video on it. You are, you're really, I don't know, you're risking your influence, you're risking your connection, yes. you're risking your conversion. And of course, you're not getting as many referrals. So that was, a, I'm glad that that came out here in our closing thoughts. So, so I'll give you the closing words to anybody from your own company that's listening to this or any other mortgage coaches or new loan officers, any closing words of advice uh, to be a coach leader to realtors in today's market? Yeah, don't reinvent the wheel. Go to your Facebook page, go to YouTube, do the agent advantage playlist take those things. Like I said, I, I've only been doing this one year. I don't think I've created a TCA that was my own idea yet. I'm just, I'm still learning, you know, just anybody can do it. All you got to do is take some time, watch the videos, create them, get excited about the strategies you can deliver to the client and the agent. It's all there. All the information is there. There's no reinventing the wheel. I love it, dude. Well, you are a great leader. Uh, thank you for giving all this value. I do want to make sure like, to get your first 20, do you think it took you more than three to four hours of just homework? You know, call it the grind going from, I don't know how to do this to I know how to do this. Do you think it was more than three to four hours of no. training or learning? No, no. And what's cool about the mortgage coach community is there's somebody in there you could reach out to or ask the question in Facebook about something. You'll, you can figure out, you can figure out how to get her done pretty easy. And there's a lot, you guys have some incredible training. It's more or less, I don't think it's necessarily the time. It's just the fear of doing something different. If you're not using it, yeah, I've even got some loan officers in our branch that they get a little nervous because they're not as comfortable with it yet because they're just getting on board and they want to go do the old school and send them an LE. And I'm like, no, prepare the LE, copy it, make sure the mortgage coach looks correct. Then you can have the confidence to send it out. Just do it. Love that. So guys, if you're not on the mortgage coach team yet, There'll be a link in the show notes to click, get a demo. You can buy it. Uh, you can go to mortgagecoach.com. Uh, if you are not subscribing to our YouTube channel, you're totally missing the best thing since um, uh, Netflix. In fact, <laughs> this, instead of Netflix, you actually make money watching the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribing so you get alerts when interviews like this one hit. And Chantry, thank you very much, brother. I really appreciate Thanks. your time. I appreciate you doing all this for us. All right, man. Well, hey, give us a like, share this with your mortgage friends, and this is a wrap. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.